that's <clears throat> that's different than I thought I was going to be talking about. Just just a little bit though. That's that's fine. Um, and I love this 20 seconds. I just feel like playing cards for a minute. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about uh, visualization as uh, a research tool. Um, so my name is Lee Boot. I direct the Imaging Research Center, which is over in ITE. Our mission is to increase the impact of data, information, knowledge, and wisdom on human decision making. What I'm going to talk to you about today is comprehensive spatial visualization as a strategy uh, to address this grand challenge, engineer the tools of scientific discovery. There are a lot of tools of scientific discovery here that you'll recognize. What the last three of them have in common is that they all allow us to select just one area or just one thing or just one subject at a time and ignore everything else that's going on regardless of the potential impact that everything else has. Our tools tend to be good at drilling. Data visualization is a tool, but we're using it to try to change that, to try to not narrow down and look at just one thing. And the reason is that things like health are made up and impacted of a multitude, a whole landscape of interacting, interconnected factors. We call it comprehensivity, and we're creating software called MAP2 to symbolically represent information in a 3D space. Uh, we know that visualization facilitates breakthroughs. Um, we know that if you eliminate one factor, that could be the one that gets you. So we want to help researchers make connections and see the relationships between all the factors on that landscape that I described. We think that's where the insights are. The challenges are fusing multimodal data, integrating multimodal data, um, rendering graphics at a speed that will allow people to create this and move through it on a regular laptop. We also don't know how people are going to react to this kind of information display. But the big challenge is that as a people, we don't want to look at the whole mess. We want to run screaming when we see the whole mess. We want to narrow it down to just one thing. The interdisciplinary challenges are that despite a lot of people use visualization now, mostly for reporting, visualization as a tool for scientific discovery itself is still underappreciated, both by the science community, humanities, policymakers. And also, I have to say that even though I think UMBC is really kicking it, I think we should be really proud um, that interdisciplinary, it's, inter interdisciplinarity itself remains a challenge in academia. Thank you very much. Thank you.